Let us first examine the contents. We have a test tube filled with water, equipped with a rubber stopper to which a string is attached, and a candle positioned below the test tube on a cart. We also have a safety shield equipped with two rods, one at the lower position and the other at a higher position. If we put it this way, the cart will not be able to move backwards when the cannon fires. If we put it the other way, the cart will be able to move backwards when the cannon fires. The last item we can use is a bag that can attach to the cart like this. When the cannon fires, the stopper is stopped by the bag and the cart will not move backwards. It is important to place the rubber stopper firmly into the test tube. Light the candle. In some cases, the candle flame will be too weak, so you can place the wooden splint made of a matchstick, parallel to the candle wick. Note the enhanced flame now. Observe the boiling water and examine the action of the cannon.